this is what you look like when you've been sleeping in a doorway for three years. It, it's not hard to tell you, it's like, do you know what I mean? Some guys tweeted here, I'm sure I've just given money to a fake beggar. I don't work, but would give the homeless my last pound if I knew they weren't fake. It feels like quite a lot of these reports are coming from Liverpool. There's a bar owner who works on Matthew Street, and he says that the problem is so bad, there's about 40 people begging every single night, and it's actually just stopping people going down there for a drink. The bar owner has agreed to meet. This guy as well, definitely not homeless. If he was homeless, he wouldn't, he wouldn't cover his face, you know what I mean? Really? Yeah, he wouldn't. They get into taxis, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So they, um, they've earned their money, they've made their money. They're not homeless. I mean, compared to an average salary, mm. do you think these people are earning the same amount that we are, or...? Yeah, yeah, I think sometimes uh, some of them, especially uh, on certain weekends, you could make easily £200 a night, easily. Why do you think it's a problem that people who aren't homeless beg? I just think there's too much money to be made. People are generous. Again, in, in Liverpool, it's, it's probably in their nature. 18 months ago, it probably wasn't as bad, but now it's just getting rife. It's just more and more coming into the city. It's like an epidemic. I wanted to speak to people genuinely sleeping rough to see if they think there's a rise in professional beggars. So this is your tent. What's it like inside? It's an absolute ship. There's only about eight people, roughly, that are genuinely entrenched rough sleeping every night. Is that how many people you think are rough sleeping here? Yeah. I mean, I've just seen 20 today. Yeah, you will have seen 20, but there's a difference between people who are begging and people who are homeless. Right. And there's a big difference, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? This is what you look like when you've been sleeping, when, you, when you've been sleeping in a doorway for three years. Do you know what I mean? It, it's not hard to tell you, it's like, do you know what I mean? How does it make you feel? It pisses me off. <laughs> big time. Because mm. it, it slanders anyone who's genuine. I'm here every day. I don't go home. I've got nowhere to go, do you know what I mean? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Have you tried to get help from the council for a house? And they say no one has to sleep rough. Quite right. No one does have to sleep rough. But no one else from normal society would be happy being put in a hostel or a night shelter with fucking handbag robbers, with drunks, with the rest of them. So why should I? Getting official numbers on this is complicated, but I've got some information from Merseyside Police showing over 80% of people arrested for begging in the last three years did have some kind of accommodation. Hearing that even rough sleepers like Damien are concerned about professional beggars makes me think there clearly is an issue. So looking up the definitions of homelessness, it feels way more complex than you may actually first assume. And, you know, looking at the fake homeless issue, what this means is that there are lots of people who may have a roof over their head, who may be in a hostel, sofa surfing, in a B&B, but they're still living a homeless lifestyle, they're still homeless. These definitions just make it clear that it's not as simple as you're not sleeping on this street, you're going back somewhere, you're not homeless. <laughs> 